Hi, this is Lola. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about this cover, which is a Filofax Malden in personal size. Right now it's housing a Stalogy V6 Stalogy. And yes, if you look them up, they will have rings. So yes, I de-ringed it. So I'm going to take you through the process, not the actual de-ringing because it was a mess. I'm going to say a few thoughts on the matter. Um, do I regret doing it now? No. While I was doing it, oh, did I regret doing it? I was like, why do I put myself into these things? I don't need another cover. Now that it started, I have to finish. I'll show you a little bit. First of all, I have to say, I think it's really hard to put the Stalogy cover in there. I don't know if people are cutting it, but I think like it's a little hard. So this is the result. Keep in mind, I made a mess at cutting the leather and I still haven't glued it because I'm I'm actually buying some glue today. So these are the holes that I left. One of them was really easy. It came off like boop, and the other one was not, which I found a lot of people uh, did. And that's why I didn't film it because I didn't want the pressure and mess it up. Um, the leather is beautiful, but I dinged it so much while I was doing so a few notes don't go underneath <laughs> when you start feeling frustrated that doesn't work that's how i did this um watch a bunch of videos and like the only thing is i don't understand people that are doing it with um how do you call it um drill i don't understand it i don't get it because technically it's just like basically it's things go in and so you have to unstuck them and one comes out then you get the rings out and then you have to make another one come up so you can open and get the the spine up for anyone that looked into it you'll understand the other ones i'm sorry <laughs> but so basically i ended up using just a screwdriver the flat ones and a hammer and that's where it worked the best. Of course, I tried the other stuff because, you know, I was trying the other stuff. The other note, and somebody helped me on the Stalogy Facebook group has a lot of people uh, that do it. But of course, I had the wrong knife. I thought I had a really good uh, cutting knife, but it was kind of a mess. So what you want to do, some people in the videos, they basically cut the stitching. Um, the cleanest I've seen it is on the Facebook Stalogy page and what you do is you cut the leather right above where the this ends. Of course, I did it too high. I was really flustered by then. Honestly, it doesn't look bad and once it's glued, it's going to be fine. Um, would I recommend doing it? I don't know. I don't know that I would. I did it for the B6 because I've always wanted this cover. I've always wanted this cover for years and years and years. So I did it, but then when I took it out of the E-class, I was like, but I love the E-class. Do I need another cover? No. In fact, I have to go through all my cover. I'll probably shoot a video of, of that. Um, I'm probably gonna be selling my traveler's notebook because I just don't use that size anymore. But um, so yeah, this is the Malden Filofax. Filofax, Filofax, I don't know how you say it. After my rambling, I'm gonna post the unboxing and then I shot some steps. Like once um, the top was out, I shot how this looked like. Um, and I think once it was done, this is the messy part. I mean, it's embarrassing because I had to cut it twice, but I know once it's glued, it's gonna be fine. And as you see, the leather really marks a lot. And that's the beauty of it. Um, I believe this is Buffalo leather so my thoughts are am i happy i have it now yes would i put myself in this kind of trouble for it probably not now because i have so many covers that i love if you don't have that many covers this might be worth it if you like the b6 size the other thing that I noticed, and I think I shot it, but I want to show it to you, is so I use the zebra, and there is a pen loop. I don't think it fits it. <laughs> that's that's the other thing. I was like, what? Um, like, I don't know if it's the grip, but it's not going in. So 
what I did, and I think I showed that in the video, is I kind of clipped it in, but um, I don't know that I'll use it this way. I don't know that I'll use the pen loop at all. So yeah, if you don't have any other covers, this might be a good option because it's actually not too expensive and it's excellent quality. I mean, it is excellent quality. And then you get, you know, like a wallet type. I wouldn't put too much money in there, but you know, you have one, two, three, uh, well, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, four card slot, then a big pocket here. I know some designs have a pocket here. I bought the 2019 because I not going to use um, the pages. In fact, if anyone is interested in having 2019 pages from Filofax, comment below because I don't like throwing away stuff. But so there's a pocket here, a pocket here, and then I like the snap enclosure and it is absolutely gorgeous leather. And I know I've seen, I've seen these covers. I think my aunt has one that's about 30 years old and it is gorgeous. So it is a good investment in that way. Um, am I going to be looking to see if there are um, inserts that fit better in it? Yes, um, I will. I get confused with all the sizes because this is personal size, but I feel like if I look at Shakespeare and I look at personal size, it's not at all this size. So it fits the B6. I tried to put my B6 name and it looked ridiculous because, you know, it like stopped here. But, you know, I could put the pen easily. There was there was room and there is room for a pen here. So I may do um, I may do like I have some of the Shakespeare E class pen loops left or I, I could just glue it here and have the pen, you know, fit perfectly in there. So that's another option. But it's beautiful. It's the Filofax Malden uh, in Ochre. It's available on Amazon. I put the link uh, in the description box. It's a beautiful cover. It's gorgeous. If you're a little bit better at being crafty, go for it. If you are like me, take your time. Don't panic because I was uh, I was having an off day anyways. I should have never done it. And I knew it. I was trying to talk myself into not doing it, but I did it anyways. It's not bad. And I saw some people do really cool stuff. I mean. I wouldn't put felt on this because the quality is so beautiful, but I've seen people just put like um, like a lining, but it's just cardboard, like beautiful, like paper, and you just, you know, put it all the way. So when you open it, it's beautiful. Again, if you're interested in these, I think the Facebook group for Stylogy lovers is great because a lot of people end up using the Malden for the Stylogy because it does fit perfectly. Um, so yeah. Um, that's what made me want to do it. So I'm going to stop the video now and put the unboxing and then some of the steps that I shot. I can't remember exactly uh, what I shot and what I did. It was a few days ago, but I wanted to do a little intro and show the results. And thank you everyone for the comments. Monday, um, I will be selecting the next giveaway winner and keeping on my I'm Mary Kondoing all the craft stuff that I don't use. So the way I'm doing it is, where am I going to throw that away? I don't know anyone who's into craft. So you get to uh, receive some giveaways. So keep commenting on the other video. This is not for the giveaway. And then Monday I will post um, the winner. And then as always, Saturday will be the plan with me. Hope everyone's having a great week. And thanks for watching and keep watching. It keeps going. Bye bye. Hi everyone, this is Lola. So today I'm gonna to do the unboxing uh, for the Filofax Malden. I actually got, I'll put the link in the um, description box, but I got last year's because I'm not gonna use the rest and I got it from Amazon Prime, just in case I decide I'm gonna want it. Um, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful box. I've had uh, Filofax before, um, in fact, I have a couple, but I've always wanted the Malden, and I went to have coffee with Rowena a few weeks ago, and we were in a store, and I saw it, and I was surprised at the price. I thought it was much more expensive than that, and then when I looked on Amazon, it was even cheaper, so it might be an appearance from Gizmo the Cat. He's right here. Um, since it's gotten colder, oh, <gasps> but like the leather on this is unlike anything um, because it's buffalo 
I love the color, it's like a golden. So obviously um, I wouldn't keep this or this. Um, I don't know that I have the, um, how do I say this uh, nicely? I don't think I have the courage to do the de-ringing with the camera on, but I may, I don't know. I mean, this might end up being a longer video. Oh, I got a text, I guess. So, um, yeah, it has this big pocket right here with cardboard, which made it feel really weird. Um, these cards pocket, a little like almost, I mean, you can put it pretty much put maybe three or four quarters or a pen, but I wouldn't put a pen there. Um, ooh, I kind of like this. I will have to reuse it, maybe paste it on one of the journals. This is nice. Oh, I don't know that I've ever spoken about this, but I love leather, but I also love plastic. When I was a kid, I was a big plastic fan. <laughs> so I wanted to try to see, because I've heard the B6 Stalogy fits, which is my next journal, but I also want to see how the Cafe Note B6 Slim fits in there. So I'm going to cut the video and come back. So here are, this is the journal I'm using currently. Uh, it's the B6 Slim, and it's housed in the Shakespeare uh, Hemingway collection. I don't remember what the color was called at the moment. So I have it oh, here. Sorry, there's a lot of sounds in my house, I guess. And it's already a little bit thicker, as you can see. So what I'm trying to see is the size without the ring in it. I mean, that makes sense. I don't want to. I don't want to keep something if I'm not going to use it. So already, um, if I'm going to be using this, there's a pen loop, which I don't know if it fits. That looks really small, right? Oh my gosh, that's really small. Ha! Huh. <laughs> No, I actually think it would fit eventually. You just have to work on it a little bit. I mean, it's leather, right? Yeah, I don't know. Huh? It's really tight. And this is not... I guess I could do this. Yeah, that works. Okay, so um, then my workout for the day right now. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so it's going to be a little hard to see because I'm obviously shoving it without even noticing. Yeah, there's something in there. Um... It's just to see the size because honestly, I would love to use it right now because of obviously, for obvious reasons, I just got it. I want to use it. Um, I heard the B6-tology fits in it, so I don't see how this wouldn't. My has a cover on cover, so maybe I'm being a little... Oh, I do love how the leather wrinkles. Do you see that? Gosh, I love, love leather. And... This is kind of hard, obviously, because I have the rings. So I, I'm aware of that and I'm aware I'm crazy. But I don't, um, I'm not crazy enough to de ring it and then realize I'm not going to use it. Although I, I have a feeling that's not going to be a problem. Okay, so let's see this. I think it probably would fit better without the cover on cover. But I actually think this fits pretty good. Um, you got to have a little bit of imagination, obviously. But if you look, if I took the rings out, I think it would be perfect. What I don't get is how... So this is the personal, by the way. I, th I don't know if I said that. Personal organizer. I don't know how the Stalogy would fit in there. Because it's a little bit bigger, right? Because, okay, so this is this is the one I'm currently using. Cafe Notes P6, then, right? Um... And this is the one that I was going to use next, um, which is the B6 Allergy. And I'll show you, but there's quite a difference, I think. I mean, hello, that's huge. But you know what? It would fit. Yeah. Okay, so this is what's happened. And you see I scratched it here and here. That is my fault. Really... I think what helped the most was working on top with this and the hammer and I tried to be impatient I went under and I scratched it it doesn't really matter now the next step I've seen videos where they remove the stitching but I went in the Facebook group for Stalogy um, because a lot of ladies do it for the Stalogy B6 and they told me I could just cut the leather that it was easier and then uh, it's easier because then you just glue it back. 
So that's what I'm gonna do, not on camera, because it's um, really nerve wracking. Uh, but no more rings, yay. And I did a real number on them, so I kind of was a mess, and you see I used anything I could think of, but really, I would say these two were the best. So yeah.